This video is brought to you by Trollandtoad.com. Hey, Chief Shopper here. Can we do an opening of the super old school Ledgery Collection? It's like a Ledgery Collection binder. It has the God cards in it. Got some super old booster packs in here. We got the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, Feral Servant, Dark Crisis, and Invasion of Chaos. It's going to be super amazing. If you enjoy this video, please post a comment below. Like, subscribe for more. And if you do, you have a chance of winning a free booster pack. We'll be announcing the winner in the comments of tomorrow's video. So, on that, let's get cracking. All right, we'll just uh, get a little slice there. Get on in there. Right on. Oh, that's so cool. I think I'm just going to leave those in there. They are just beautiful where they're at. Albus of Tormentor, Slifer of the Sky Dragon, and the Wing Dragon of Ra. It's got a little ring binder here. It's pretty cool. Hold some cards in here if you want it. Let's see if we can open up that. There we go. And in here, they give us the an ultra rare Blue Eyes White Dragon, an ultra rare Dark Magician, and an ultra rare Red Eyes Black Dragon. Can't really go wrong here, especially since you get the God cards in here as well. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, I know these things are like impossible to find though, and uh, Troll and Toad really hooked us up today. So let's uh, start things off with the first set ever created, the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. Let's hope that we pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon or an Exodia head. I mean, anything would be. Cards are so old, it's amazing. But that would be just be super epic. I remember uh, opening my first packs of these. Spirit of the Harp, that's actually a pretty good card. And 2,000 defense back in the day, that's a <laughs> that's something really hard to get around. We have our first pack down. Put this over here, and we have Metal Raiders is gonna be our next booster pack. We're gonna crack open here. <laughs> that's really cool looking. An old school lion. Oh, nice. And we pulled a tribute to the doom. Super rare. It's actually a pretty decent card. Back in the day, you have a sentence of serpent and whatnot to pitch. Well, once the game actually came out that it came in. Uh, discard one card from your hand uh, to the grave. <laughs> one card from your hand to the grave. Or very specific in the old days. Uh, to destroy one monster on the field uh, regardless of position. Really good card. And so is Sand Game. The card's banned. But doesn't take away that the card is absolutely amazing. <laughs> They got rid of it pretty quick after they re the release of Tour Guide, because you could just bring out Sangin, so basically everybody was running Tour Guide in every deck. Oh, we have uh, Spell Ruler. Booster pack here. Whoosh. Sonic Bird. Oh, nice! Black Pendant Super Rare. Very cool. And another banned card, Cyber Jar. <laughs> Cool, we pulled a couple of foils. Kind of surprised. Uh, out of all these, I'd only be expecting maybe one foil being pulled because uh, you're only getting one booster pack and the odds you pull in a foil are very low. So we've gotten really lucky so far and we're moving over to Pharaoh's Servant. Love these old school sets. Reminds me of the days of me uh, swinging by my store and spending everything that I had on booster packs to try to improve my deck. Uh, time Seal is a really good card. Uh, your opponent skips their next draw phase. And uh, Magic Chain is also a really good card. Whenever they activate a... Uh, uh, well, back in the day it was a Magic card, now it's a Spell card. Activate a Spell card, they have to discard an additional Spell card to have that other one for, to have that first one activate. So, that's pretty good. General, sorry if I'm, if I'm looking a little distracted over here. It's, uh, you see that right there? The Black Pendant has like foiling right over here. So, it's kind of... It's catching my eye. It's kind of cool. <laughs> Alright, so... Dark Crisis, got a little distracted there. Ooh, cool, Ojama Trio. That card's so old and still being used today for side deck against decks like uh, Burning Abyss. I've even seen, uh, Tsukiyomi's a really good card. Uh, I've also seen uh, Ojama Trio being cited for uh, Psy Frames because they have to have no monsters on their side of the field to be able to activate a lot of their effects, or all their effects. So, <laughs> pretty good side deck choice for couple of the decks. And we're moving over to Invasion of Chaos. The Ryo Cookie. Very good card for zombies. 
ran that in my old school zombie deck. Smashing Ground, that was a card that was ran for a very, very, very long time. This is a pretty freaking amazing looking card. Destruction Ring, what does this card even do? Uh, destroy one face that monster on your side of the field and inflict a thousand points of damage to uh, both players' life points. All right, that's not too bad. A Curse Seal, a Forbidden Spell, that's actually a pretty good card. I think the card actually, uh, people are telling me it went up in value a little bit. I don't know exactly what people are citing it for, but um, yeah, there were some people that were citing it. I mean, there's a lot of spell cards out there that they can negate. I mean, uh, for Cosmos, they could uh, negate their field cards and they can never play it again. That's always a good thing. Uh, these are the foils that we ended up getting out of there. The two foils that we pulled, Trip to the Doom and Black Pendant. And then we got the Blue Eyes White Dragon, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes Black Dragon, plus three ultra rare god cards obelisk the tormentor slifer the sky dragon and the wing dragon of raw really awesome if you guys enjoy this video please post comment below like subscribe for more and if you do have a chance of winning a free booster pack like i said i'll be announcing the winner in the comments of tomorrow's video and on that jobber here is signing off